<laughs> Greetings, cyber dogs and citizens of the internet. This is Rendog coming at you from the Strip Mine Outpost Station in this Let's Play Minecraft Survival series. In the previous episode, we were finishing off the Silkworm Railway Line, and in this episode, my friends, we are heading back to the Cyberdog Monument to finish off those freaking canals once and for all. So sit back and relax, my Cyberdiggity Dogs, with your tasty ass beverage and crunchy ass snacks. Let's play some Minecraft survival. Now, I hear what some of you Cyber Dogs are saying, Ren Diggity Dog, what in the jazz are you doing in the butthole that is the Strip Mine Outpost? Well, as you guys know, we need a butt ton of lapis lazuli to finish off the canals of the Cyber Dog Monument. And uh, I have just been stripping my butt off and I've managed to pick up quite a lot of lapis lazuli. Hopefully this is going to be enough lapis to finally finish off those canals. We have a few more blocks also from that giant ass adventure that we went on. So uh, I, I'm pretty sure that this time around, this time around, we're gonna have enough lapis to finish off the monument. And uh, once we finish off that monument, we've pretty much finished all of the major builds in, in season three, other than the Silkworm Gang Island Fort, of course. So that's where we're gonna be heading next once we get this monument finished. Uh, but man, I have been stripping for a few hours now. And let me tell you something, I have been eating pork chops like nobody's business. All I have been eating is pork chops all day, er day. And uh, let me tell you something, man. I am freaking sick of pork chops. I don't know, man. I Don't get me wrong. I love myself a pork chop. But uh, try eat pork chops every single day for like five days, man. You're going to get sick of that jazz. Uh, so, so hopefully I'm going to be able to switch up my diet now. We're almost out of pork chops, almost out of steaks also. Uh, but it's been good, man. It's been a carnivorous last 10 episodes or so. I managed to pick up another eight diamonds, which is awesome. Managed to pick up a whole bunch more redstone also, sweet. And let's pick up the lapis lazuli from our last adventure. Head up to the furnace room and, and smelt down some of this gold that I managed to collect also. And a bit of this iron. And uh, it was actually quite a lucrative strip mining session. And you guys might notice that my level is down to 24. And that is because, man, I, I, I caved in. I caved in. I repaired Terra. Um, I didn't want to go stripping with like a normal janky ass diamond pickaxe. You know how long it takes to strip mine without like an efficiency pickaxe, guys. It takes forever, let me tell you, man. So uh, I actually, I just manned up. I repaired Terra one more time before 1.8 comes out. And uh, managed to use almost half of Terra's durability and managed to pick up another 24 levels. It cost me about 30 levels to, to repair Terra, but... Um, we're back up to 24, which is a reasonable amount, I think. I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, we have a ridiculous amount of stuff in our inventory still, which is so weak. And it's just going to drop off this coal while we're at it. And guys, uh, I just want to thank every single one of you who commented on the previous video. And we actually got into quite an interesting discussion in that video where we were talking about, like, what builds have been the most awesome in this, uh, in this Minecraft series. Is it nighttime already? What in the jazz? We beat, need to go sleep before uh, some freaking zombie... Uh, badness happens in <laughs> in Mall City. Let's get up here. Uh, but what we were talking about, well, a few of you cyber dogs were talking about, was um, what have been like the most awesome builds in this series, right? We've we've had three seasons of this Let's Play Minecraft Survival series, and we've built a ridiculous amount of stuff. And in the previous episode, I was talking about like how much I actually enjoyed making that railway line, even though it was just like a railway line. Um, I really, really enjoyed that build, and a ton of you guys also uh, enjoyed that build. In fact, some of you guys were saying. This is actually, uh, I prefer this build to some of your other builds actually. Uh, prefer watching you build railway lines than do other stuff. And, um, and to me that was kind of weird, you know, because when I started working on Silkworm Gang, on the Silkworm uh, railway line, I actually worried a little bit that, I don't know, maybe you guys would find it boring or that it wouldn't be exciting enough. But it actually turned out to be um, pretty well received by you guys. And a ton of you guys actually really enjoyed the build. Um, which is awesome. So I want to talk a little bit about some of the other builds that we've done in this series so far and uh, and like like how much I enjoyed the builds themselves. I don't think I've ever really talked about um, the, the builds that we've done, like the Nether Portal Temple, Mole City in general, the Mole Hole Castle, all of these things. So we're going to have a little chat about that in this episode, guys. But um, before we actually get over to the Cyberdog Monument, I want to just check that there has been no... Uh, funny business going on around the Griswold family over here. Now that we've built some more apartments, I suspect that, uh, uh yeah, I, I just heard, did you hear that? I just heard the sound of a baby. Griswold, you have been getting busy, getting busy. And, uh, I don't, yeah, 
I'm not happy about it, man. I, I hear a little child. Where is it? Oh! What in the jazz is going down here? Oh my goodness, there is a baby in there and another lady. Hippolyta and Griswold have been getting busy in the cauldron. Now, if that ain't some freaky ass jazz, I don't know what is, man. Alright, well, it looks like we've got two new ladies added to the Griswold family. Griswold, why are you going to do this to me, bro? Why can't you just take it easy on the getting busy, getting busy, man? Oh my goodness. Alright, well, we might as well see what they can trade. Let's see what this new lady trades. Chicken for emeralds. Uh, I guess it's a decent deal. We don't really eat a lot of chicken in this series. That's, that's, that's a pretty decent deal. Which one of you is Hippolyta? Uh, this is the daughter, right? That gives us emeralds. That gives us flint for gravel and an emerald. Now that is such a bad deal considering I can just place gravel down uh, in, a, in a tower and break it with a torch and collect my own freaking flint. So no thank you man, you're the worst trader ever. This is Hippolyta over here. Giving us bread for emeralds, that's pretty good. Giving us, oh no, we gotta give you cooked fish for an emerald. Well that's not bad, that's not, that's not terrible. Where's the fresh prince man? Where's the fr fr fresh prince? Do we even know what the fresh prince trades? There he is. Hey bro, what's up? Okay, so, ooh, for a book and 10 emeralds, he gives us a punch two book. That's pretty awesome. Oh, Fresh Prince, dude, damn. You're a pimp daddy, man. That is sweet, and Zippolita. All right, and it looks like we've got another baby uh, that's growing in that cauldron. Kind of, kind of freaky what's going on down there. Hey, hey, relax. No funny business around here, man. This is a family show. Get out of here. <laughs> um, so we've got a couple more villages in, uh, in Mall City, guys. I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, there's nothing we can really do to stop it happening, I guess. I didn't put any doors in any of these new apartments, so not entirely sure why we've got more villages spawning. But I also managed to use a leash to get this freaking golem out from underneath Mall City. And I had to break through the wall over here of the blacksmith's workshop to get the golem back inside here before I went strip mining. So the golems are back protecting this family. Um, and yeah... Griswold, bro. Man, you just need to calm down, son. <laughs> anyway, guys, let's get over to uh, the Cyberdog Monument and look at that. It is looking so freaking sweet. There is one more thing that I want to talk about before I uh, talk about the builds of this se uh, Minecraft series. And that is a little OCD problem that um, I am having and that a ton of you guys are having. And I think that we need to put our heads together to come up with a solution. Let's just get all the lapis that we can around here. Um, I'm pretty sure we've got enough lapis now, guys. We've got like a like a stack and a little bit of lapis. I mean, if this isn't enough lapis, then I don't know, man. That, I'm gonna I'm hang my towel up, man. That, that, that's that's it for me, man. No more no more freaking Minecraft for me. I've been strip mining. I don't even know how many hours now to get all the lapis for this build. But guys, we've got a bit of an OCD problem over here, right? Because as you can see, the roads of Mole City are three blocks wide, and the entrance hall of or the entrance staircase of the Cyberdog Monument is in fact four blocks wide. So we, we literally have a symmetry fail over here. Now, there's absolutely nothing we can do about this other than taking down the entire monument and rebuilding it or uh, digging up all the roads of Mole City and remaking them and of course taking down Granny Dog's monument and making it four blocks wide or making it a, an even number wide rather than an odd number. And that's obviously not possible. So we're going to have to come up with a different solution. And uh, let's put our brains together. Like, let's brainstorm this, guys. How do you think we can solve this symmetry fail? Obviously, we're, we're not going to be able to solve the symmetry fail completely uh, by making these two things symmetrical. However, I think I have a fairly interesting solution that we could try. What I thought was we could push the road of Mole City back to about this location over here. And what we could do is install like a ticket office or, I don't know, like a gate or something like that. And we could turn this whole area around here, all of this area in front of the Cyberdog Monument into like a park with a lot of trees and a lot of bushes and uh, a lot of stuff like that. And we could have a little path that perhaps leads into the center of the monument or a bridge that goes over like a very small little river or something uh, that might help with the symmetry fail. I don't know, that's the idea I've got. Um, why don't you guys br put, brainstorm, man? How can we solve the symmetry fail? There's gotta be a way. Uh, we can work it out together. And man, um, it's gotta be done though, seriously, because this is gonna drive me cray cray over here. It might even drive me to the point where I take down the whole monument. But I think if that happens, um, I think I've pretty much crossed a line of sanity. You know what I mean? Like that, that would literally be an, an insane 
thing to do. Um, so yeah, I kind of want to avoid that that option. <laughs> so anyway, guys, let's get up into the Cyber Dog Monument. Have a look at this puppy. It is looking really awesome. Loving the roof. Loving like I actually really like these pillars. Um, I, I didn't show you guys last time. Oh, awesome. I mean, I'm in Optifine, right? So if I press control, I zoom in, which is pretty sweet. Um, I've added these like glowstone lamps at the top of the pillar joints instead of at the bottom of them. I was going to hang chandeliers from the top of these um, joints over here, but the chandeliers kind of look pretty bad. So what I decided to do was build these like little lamps that sit on top of these cross beams and i think they actually look really really cool and at night they they man they help to light up the top of the monument which is pretty rad um but man we have got a bit of work to do today today guys we've got to finish off this canal over here and we've got to finish off this canal over here and then we are oh and this canal over here so we've got three diagonal canals to finish hopefully we've got enough lapis having just looked at these three canals I don't think we're going to have enough lapis, if I'm honest. I thought that we were only had to do uh, two canals, but no, we've got three canals to do. Oh, well, we might as well give it a go, man. Let's see if we can do this. So let's start off with this canal over here. And uh, man, today, guys, I want to talk about some of the freaking builds that we have done in this series. I guess it's like a, a little trip down memory lane, I guess, uh, to, I don't know, to, 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 to reminisce about some of the sweet ass structures that we have built in this series so far. And I, and I want to talk about like how much I enjoyed each of these builds and whether I enjoyed them or whether I didn't enjoy them. What were the challenges of the build um, and, and so on and so forth. And I think the, the first build that I want to start with is the Molehole Castle itself. Uh, for those of you guys who can remember way back to the start of season one. We literally started a brand new Minecraft world. We spawned next to a cave. Uh, there was a spider that tried to kill us. We managed to take care of the spider. Um, and we then ventured forth and found this uh, jungle over here, basically. And from there, we decided to build into the side of a mountain uh, as our very first home to be able to survive the first night of Minecraft. And the reason that I decided to dig into the side of a mountain is because before I started this Minecraft series, I was playing a game called Terraria. And in that game, the very first house that I built was underground and it essentially was a mole hole. And uh, I basically got the inspiration for the mole hole castle from my Terraria series. And I decided, you know what, if it works in Terraria, it should work in, in Minecraft too. And I dug into the side of a mountain and uh, from there, um, onwards, the, the, the molehole castle slowly started to take form. And uh, at some point we decided, why don't we build a tree up the middle of this, uh, of this castle and then around that tree that we will actually build the canals. Now, the tree, the life tree, was essentially the, the first thing that started off the molehole castle. It, 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 like, I was trying to think of a way, when I was in that hole, I was thinking to myself, okay, how are we going to turn this hole into a castle? What we need is levels, right? Right? So obviously we need like stories and uh, I would like I thought about how castles were built in real life how like um, You know how, how manor houses and and giant villas and stuff were built and I thought to myself You know, there's always like a, a middle spiral staircase kind of thing uh, that goes up the middle of the of the house or the castle and then around that staircase you have like balconies and then there's doors that go into the the various rooms and whatnot and i thought to myself you know what if we had like a centerpiece in the middle of this hole inside of this mountain and built the centerpiece all the way up through the top of the mountain we could then build like a staircase that would spiral around the centerpiece um, and we could make it symmetrical and because it was symmetrical we could build rooms into the side of that those balconies and hence make like a castle like structure and so the idea for the life tree was born um, instead of just having like a I don't know like a spiral pillar or something going up the center of the molehole castle I decided to build a tree and turn it into basically a staircase um, and that was basically what started off um, my inspiration from cyber dogs like when i first built the life tree that is when i started to really take notice of uh, ideas coming in from people who are watching my videos and i do believe that the life tree might have been a, a cyber dog idea i know that the giant ball of lava certainly was because what we were trying to figure out was a way to be able to get home after adventures and being able to see something in the distance. And I'm, I'm pretty sure a cyber dog recommended making a giant ass ball of lava at the top of this life tree that we built. And that is how that was born. And, um, you know, the mole hole castle was uh, a really, really, it, it, it's, it's still like one of the most difficult builds for me that I've ever made. Right. And 
Like, I must admit, after after almost 300 episodes of Minecraft, like, the crafting side of Minecraft has become much easier for me, right? It's, it's I, I know exactly what tools I need. Um, I know, for example, I know how, um, like, how the game works. I don't know how to explain it, but I, I guess, like, I have a lot of uh, brain muscle memory about this game. I know, like, the speed of the cursor, like, the speed of, how, like, blocks, how fast they get placed, uh, where they get placed, etc. But when I first started playing Minecraft, I was an absolute noob. I'd literally not played it at all when I started the series. I had, like, I think I'd only played a little bit of Minecraft with my brother before, but I'd, I, I hadn't done any major builds or anything like that. I barely knew anything about the crafting mechanics. So when I first started building the mole hole, it was, it was actually a, a, a very challenging project. Um, I was putting blocks in the wrong place. You know, I kept on like making mistakes with my crafting. Um, uh, I kept using the wrong tools, if you guys can remember that. Um, I kept on like using, uh, <laughs> using spades to break cobblestone or pickaxes to break dirt. Man, it was, it was a, a noob fest of, of epic proportions, that's for sure. Um, and, and obviously I also didn't have really good tools either. I didn't have, uh, I didn't have a terror or claw or any of these awesome tools back then. I was using iron tools and even stone tools, I think way in the beginning. Um, so it like building the mole hole castle was actually a, 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 quite a challenge for me as a Minecrafter. And uh, it's essentially like where I, I sharpened my teeth on, right? I sharpened my teeth on the mole hole castle. And there are actually a few parts of the mole hole castle that like aren't really symmetrical or uh, weren't really crafted properly I think like some of the windows in uh, in the castle are, are not right and it looks like we're not gonna have enough lapis for this guys oh man <laughs> face palm um, yeah it looks like like some of the windows or, or some of the balconies aren't really correct some of the staircases aren't 100% symmetrical there are a few things about the mole hole castle that need to be fixed uh, or, you know, I think I'm just going to leave them for, like, nostalgia's sake, you know? Like, I kind of, I, I like looking back at my builds and thinking, oh, man, check at that, I, I messed that up. <laughs> um, but, you know, building the mole hole was actually a really exciting time for me because uh, it was the first time I, I really started getting serious with YouTube and, set, like, get, get really serious with, with playing Minecraft on YouTube. And, guys, we are out on lapis. Can you believe it, man? A stack of lapis, a stack and a bit of lapis to build one and a half canals. I can't actually believe this, but I'm gonna have to go strip mining again. Oh, it, it, it's painful, man. It is freaking painful, but it's gonna have to happen. Um, and and anyway, yeah. So you know, so building the mole hole castle was awesome because uh, I, I literally got so much inspiration from the guys who are watching. All of you guys who are with me back in the day. Let's let's do a little zoom over here. You guys can remember, man, when we started building the grand mole hole station. We started building my bedroom. We started building uh, the mob spawner, the wizard's tower. All of these things uh, like came from inspiration from you guys uh, who are watching the video and giving me ideas for builds in the comment section. And uh, slowly but surely, the mole hole castle started to take started to take shape and things started to become like the build started to get more and more complicated and i think the most complicated build that we actually did in the mole hole castle was the grand mole hole station um i i remember that build i think it was like a five or six episode build and man that was the first time that i actually built like uh something something on a really grand scale I, I decided to try to make something really really huge and uh compared to what we built now grand mohole station is actually really small but at the time crafting grand mohole station was pretty insane because it was the first time where i had to excavate a huge amount of land to make space for Grand Mole Hole Station. I had to collect a ridiculous amount of glass for the roof. I had to start using different materials also for the wall. I think we used like blue wool and white wool and stuff. And uh, what I want to do now, guys, is just make sure there's no physics fails with these pillars over here. I kind of remember having a pillar. Oh, here we go. This is the pillar that, that failed. Um, yeah, this pillar is just hanging in midair over here. Um, not, I don't think we're going to have enough of these uh, quartz pillars to actually finish off this pillar, but I'm going to do my best over here, man. Uh, I think we probably just have to drop. Oh, ouch! Because this pillar is probably going to have to go all the way down over here, right? Let's just get rid of these trees and see what we're working with. But uh, I remember finishing off Grand Mole Hall Station and just being so proud of that build because basically what Grand Mole Hall Station did as a build for this series is it, it opened up the mine, this Minecraft world for me, right? It made me feel like, you know what, actually, our Minecraft world does not just exist around the Molehole Castle. With this station built, we can now make railway lines that go across the land. And uh, we can connect awesome things that we find to 
uh, our, our original home base of the Molehill Castle. And of course, that's exactly what we started to do the beginning of season two, as I recall, uh, was when we first found Dogtown or we had just found Dogtown or something like that. And we decided to connect Dogtown to uh, the Molehill. I can't actually remember if it was season one or two where we connected Dogtown to the Molehill. But in a really cool and really weird way, Grand Molehill Station was the build that opened up this Minecraft world for me. And you know, Cyberdogs asked me like, what's your favorite build in your series? And I think from a, from, from purely like a philosophical perspective, I would say that Grand Molehill Station is probably my favorite build because you know, we've often spoken about uh, like scale in this series, about how, uh, especially in in season four, which is coming up and, and like near the end of season three, I guess, we've decided to like up the, the scale of what we want to build, right? Our new challenge in Minecraft is to make things that are huge, to not be restricted by the world around us. If we want to make a giant, giant something, something, uh, we're just going to do it, right? And uh, Basically, that philosophy all started with Grand Molehill Station, right? Because it was the very first uh, inverted commas big build that I made, or at the time it felt really big, it felt like enormous. Um, and I even remember thinking if I was even going to be able to do it, I was like, man, am I, am I even going to be able to build this thing? Am I going to have enough resources to do this? Um, like, are the Cyberdogs actually going to watch such a, a huge build? And man, when you think about the scale of stuff that we're building now, Silicon Gang Island, the Cyberdog Monument, which is obviously absolutely massive. Um, you know, Grand Mohol Station is actually quite small now. And uh, as the series progresses into season four, season five, we're actually gonna run out of lines <laughs> or run out of platforms uh, anyway in Grand Mohol Station. I know that sounds like a crazy thought, but we only have a, like another, what, two available platforms and um, Luckily, we've already linked up Amazonia via the nether, so Am uh, Amazonia doesn't need a, a, a platform in Grand Mohol Station. But who knows what we're going to find in Season 4? Who knows what Minecraft 1.8, Minecraft 1.9, Minecraft 1.10, Minecraft 2.0, who knows what those patches are going to bring to Minecraft? Uh, they, they're obviously going to bring new things for us to, to link to Grand Mohol Station. You know, there might come a time where uh, Mole City is finished and we need to start working on a new city somewhere else. And, and that'll need a link to Grand Mohol Station. And uh, man, it's just, it's just so freaking exciting, man. Like, I love this game and I love this life that I'm living so freaking much. I, I just love it so much, man. Um, I've just been able to exercise so much creativity with you guys doing this, doing these YouTube videos, playing Minecraft with, with you guys, meeting so many of you amazing cyber dogs, making like such amazing friends on dogcraft.net. Like, you know, it's just, it's just, it's just so awesome. And uh, you guys make me feel so, so awesome. And for that, I can, I can never thank you guys enough, man. Man, I'm getting all soppy up in here. <laughs> um, but anyway, I just finished off that pillar. I think, I think that'll do, um, like, this is basically an extension of the mountainside over here, so I'm pretty happy with that. I don't think we need to, to make this pillar come down any further than it has. We never, we're, we're never really going to come back here anyway, so uh, we do have a giant cavern over here, though. And you know what, man? There's a ton of spawnage that goes on down here. And check my, oh man, <laughs> the monument looks so cool from down here. Uh, let's just take, oh, 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 you want to get root? You want to get root? Eat freaking arrow to the skelly bits? Butthole! All right, the last thing I want to do over here, guys, is just get some torchage up in here to try and stem the tide of spawning that goes on underneath the monument. We don't want to, like, hear the sound of zombies every time we come to the monument, you know? The monument is a peaceful place, man. Like, like this is the, the, the monument of the cyber dogs, man. Like, this is, this is it. This is, like, the, the mecca, right? Like, if you guys were doing a Minecraft pilgrimage, and you're a cyber dog, obviously, like, one of your very first stops would be Cy the cyber dog monument. So, you know, it's important that we get this jazz, like, n like a pleasure to, to visit. Imagine, like, imagine you go on a, on a pilgrimage to, I don't know, the Vatican or something. And as you walk into the Vatican, you just hear, brains. I, it, it would kind of, it would kind of destroy <laughs> uh, your, your mission, wouldn't it? You'd just be like, well, <laughs> this place sucks. Uh, anyway, there we go, guys. Uh, that's pretty sweet. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to have to head back into the Strip Mine Outpost for one more stripping session. Oh, man. Never thought I'd actually feel down about saying that, but let me tell you guys. It has been so many hours of stripping. I, ca I can't even count them anymore, actually. 
But uh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna I'm a man up and I'm gonna head into that strip mine one more freaking time. Do one more bar to strip in. It looks like we probably need another 20 or so blocks of lapis. Um, and we're definitely going to finish off this monument in the next episode, guys. We've only got one more thing to do in this episode. And that is, of course, head up to the Dogolith to get eight more of you guys onto the Dogolith. Uh, I, I said in the previous episode we'd be doing entries every single episode. And that's what we're going to do. And uh, in the next episode, I'm actually going to talk a little bit more about some of our builds. Um, I actually really enjoy talking about this. It's pretty sweet. Um, and it's, it's, it's nice to, like, like, relive the memories, you know. I hear a freaking zombie, though. Um... I hear a zombie around here. Let's do some double checking. I'm, I'm pretty sure our golems will be able to pre protect all of our, our NPCs, but you never know, man. Has this baby matured yet? Okay, it has. <laughs> man, there is some freaky jazz going on in this corner. Let's see what the, the new one gives us. So, five diamonds for an emerald. No thank you. Like, that is just not a good deal. That is not a good deal. Get out of this freaking cauldron, man. How many other babies are in this cauldron? Get out of here! Maybe we need to put some water in this cauldron. Because, uh, you know, this is ridiculous, man. Yeah, let's get some water in that cauldron. I mean, honestly, like... Griswold and Hippie can't, like, get busy getting busy in a cauldron all the time. It's just freaky. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna fill up this cauldron. Maybe that'll stop these NPCs going in there. Alright, there we go. Alright, guys, anyway, let's get up to the Dogolith and get eight more of you cyber diggity dogs onto the Dogolith. Alright guys, welcome back, and I've just got eight more of you guys onto the Dogolith. Starting with Dogcraft.net, we've got Mr. Game Maker Maker, Funny Girl Nana 8, Cyber Kitty, and The Rorschach. And from YouTube subscribers, we've got Kermit the Dog, Nikki Breadhead, Alaskan Dog, and Carflix. And it looks like we've got a few ladies onto the Dogolith in today's episode, so that is freaking sweet. Always happy to add some Minecraft ladies to the Dogolith. And remember, guys, if you want to stand a chance of being put on the Dogolith, you need to be a subscriber of the Ren Dog channel and leave a constructive comment here and there on my videos. I choose you guys randomly from those comments. There is also a thread on dogcraft.net, the official Cyber Dog fan community, where you can leave your YouTube username to be added, to stand a chance of being added to the Dogolith. And remember, guys, if you get if you ask to be added to the Dogolith, I won't be adding you. Uh, so don't even try. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this episode. Episode, cyber diggity dogs hope you have enjoyed it this has been Rin diggity diggity dog playing minecraft survival and we will see you in the next video goodbye my friends